previously on Homegrown Experience. We were targeting three different mature bucks that were on the farm. The first hunt in early September, we decided to target this deer we named Drago. He was a seven, eight year old deer, very mature, very smart, he'd seen it all. I think that's the only way we're gonna get him is if we gotta hunt them, really the wind that doesn't work the best for our scent, so. We're hunting this redneck back in the woods. And uh, yeah, we're gonna get in there and we got lunch, we're gonna sit all day, so. Yeah. We started seeing a tremendous amount of coyotes on our trail cameras. Groups of five, three, two, almost all over the farm. This deer's just like a ghost. He's been coming in here at night. We decided to go after Little Glenn, who was a five-year-old deer that we've been following for years. We had pictures of him from when he was a two-year-old, three-year-old, four-year-old, and then now five years old. First, we see three coyotes in the corner of the field where they all came from, then four, then five, and then believe it or not, we had eight coyotes in the field after all the deer left. This would be a coyote hunter's dream to have eight coyotes in the field, but a deer hunter's nightmare. After this frustrating hunt, we hunted several other times to no avail and the rut started to peak up. But all of a sudden we shifted our gears around and started finding deer. We're using thick cover and starting to tend does. So we moved our sets over into the woods. When we found that he was using these woods, we knew he was tending does. We kept getting pictures of him locked up with does. And this ended up being one of the most exciting hunts of my life that I'll never forget. He was using a thick bedding area right next to a small clover field and there was some standing corn right there that we had left for as a food plot. We didn't have a stand in there so we decided to go in with the bush hog, mow some of the corn down, and in the bracket we decided to hang our set right there on the deer. November 7th, 2020. Um, it's the week before gun season. We're in here, we just slipped into the spot. We've been getting some pictures of Little Glen, this giant 10 point we've had a couple of encounters with. Um, you know, it's really warm out, it's in the 70s. Um, but the deer are making appearances, the mature deer are kind of hit and miss, doing most of their stuff at night. Um, but we got pictures of him coming out into this clover field the last three nights. Um, you know, he's just kind of coming out, and all these deer are starting to check the does. We've been keeping tabs on these doe groups and there's kind of a group over here that none of the other bucks are kind of hitting and so he's moved in here I think to be with these does so it's really warm it's not the ideal wind in here so um, with it we're sitting in a tree we've killed uh, a lot of other deer out of this tree stand so it's kind of a lucky tree and uh, just hoping for the best so we'll give it a go less than three minutes after this interview I look down the hill and I glance antler and it looks like a huge buck, and I wasn't sure who it was. Patted my vest, and I forgot my binoculars. He's down in the woods right there. I'm pretty sure it was him. It's a big, tall, tall deer. Luckily, I borrowed Field's camera, 
zoomed in as far as I could and confirmed it was Little Glenn right there. We watched him there standing and rubbing some trees and browsing a little bit without any does that we could see. All of a sudden he walks about 30 yards closer and beds up right in front of us at 3.30 in the afternoon. We noticed a small doe coming up through the woods. Unfortunately, she was cutting the opposite direction from our set, but luckily he stood up, started walking our way, and he lost interest in the doe, and then all of a sudden he turns on the trail and starts heading our way. Good hit. We did it. We did it. Oh my god. That was a good hit. That was a good hit. Watch him. Oh my god. Watch him. I see him. He's gonna fall right there. He's gonna fall right there. He's not moving. He's not moving. We did it, dude. Oh my god. Oh my god. That was the most exciting hunt I think I've ever ever had. Oh, oh my god, we did a field. We did it, dude. Oh, he's down. I can see his white belly right there. I can see it. I can see it. Yes. We did it, dude. We did it. He's huge. He's huge, dude. Oh my god. Where was he? I mean, he was 20 and I had my pin set on 35, so I had aimed really low. And he's quartering too, but I mean, he was about to walk on top of us. I had to do it there. <laughs>
<laughs> and he, I drew right when he was behind the tree. We just shot little Glenn, dude. We just shot him. He's so big, he's so, big so tall. <laughs> Way bigger than I thought he was. <laughs> Especially when he's only 20, how many, 15 yards maybe? Dude, I can see him. He's right there. I can see his belly. I can't believe we just did this. Let's go down and get him. I mean, he's down. I can see him. Let's give him a few minutes. Shaking. <laughs> How cool is that, Hunt? All right, we just got out of the tree. We know we smoked him. We just saw blood pouring out, and we saw his white belly laying out there right away. And it's been 15 minutes, so we're going after him. Might stop and look, see if we can find the arrow. I think it passed through. There is a red carpet. We're following. Look at all this blood. Look at this. That is incredible. I can see him. We can see him, brother. <laughs> yes, there he is. Oh my God. Look at this thing. Oh, there's another buck. Oh my God. Oh my gosh, look at this deer, wow, oh, oh. oh my, look how tall and perfect that is, look at this point, I didn't know it was that big, this stuff, wow, god, we did it man, this is little Glenn, this is a deer, we called him Little Glenn because he had big brows as a three-year-old. Looked just like a buck that Glenn had shot with huge brows not far from here. And we called him Little Glenn. He, we saw him the year after Glenn shot his deer. And we've been just passing this deer up, um, you know, for two years, letting him get bigger and bigger. And he's five years old now. And uh, he's just, you know, just an unbelievable deer. He uh, just all the, amazing with these long tines and he was really kind of in the center of the farm and started moving off and we were worried he was going to get off our farm and um, hopefully he bred a few and passed these genetics on. But we had an encounter with him. We almost shot him about two weeks ago and had eight coyotes come into the field while we were hunting and we were just about to draw back on him at 40 yards scared all the deer off. I'm just so happy with this deer. It was such an exciting hunt. Oh, Mr. Todd Carter, the gamekeeper himself. Let's see if he answers. <laughs> we smoked it. You could see us on the camera? I, it looked like you were high-fiving the field. That's why I was you that. <laughs> It's like, what in the hell are they doing? He saw us high-fiving on the cell phone camera. Oh, that's hilarious. This was a great climax to hunts that we had had all through the season, ups and downs and highs and lows. And it was one of the most exciting hunts I've ever been on to have a deer that close to us for hours and hours and hours, followed by just a perfect opportunity. The thing that deer hunters just dream of.